How's it going, everybody? Here's my review for Hell in a Cell 2022. Um, just finished watching it. So let's start with it. So the first match, we had a triple threat match. Bianca Belair, Oscar and Becky Lynch. Really good match. Really solid match. All of these ladies can go. They're all highly skilled. Um, loads of near falls. Loads and loads and loads and loads of near falls. Loads of high spots as well. Um, really good match. I enjoyed it. Um, go and watch it if you haven't seen it. I'm not going to go through everything bit by bit, but I'm going to tell you it was a really good match and definitely one you should watch. Uh, but I knew what would happen. I knew Bianca would win and she would pin Oscar and not pin Becky to sort of keep her strong because her contract is one of the biggest contracts there. So they're not going to let her get pinned. Um, so, yeah. So and that was a good match. Uh, definitely go and watch it uh, if you haven't seen it already. Then we had Bobby Lashley versus MVP versus Omos. Now, I thought this would be in the, in the actual cell, but it wasn't in the actual cell. Um, you were just in the ring. Um, it was a good, it was, was a good match, solid match. Obviously, Bobby Lashley can go. <clears throat> He's, for me, right now, he is one of the best doing it right now. Um, He's, he's like, you've got the champion, he's not there. And then this guy needs to be going for the title. Like, what else, what else does he do? Um, they've given him this feud with Omos, and it's just like, okay, it's now sort of coming to an end. What else do you do? They've been madly battling since WrestleMania. Um, but it was a good match. Um, uh, Bobby hit some spears on Omos. Uh, hit, uh, hit some damage on MVP. But basically, while he hit a spear on Omos... Hurt lock on MVP, good night, that's it. And then um, Sergio Alexander, I don't know if he's trying to turn to a face, but he's been sort of talking up Bobby and tried to sort of talk to Bobby afterwards saying, hey, let's do some bits together. And there's one part that was quite significant. After the match, Bobby did take the, someone had a title, a WWE title. Bobby took it and started walking around the ring with it. So what I don't know if that signifies, he wants to see the tribal chief. So yeah, see what happens there. There's some significant moments on here. WD played a music video before the match. That was a one long diss. Yes, oh yeah. So MVP <laughs> created a diss track for um for Bobby Lashley, um, sort of like scathing him with some funny lines, especially when he compared the WWE version of ECW to the new to new Coke, which is quite um, uh, yeah quite interesting. But yeah, that was a that was a match. So then we had um. Ezekiel versus Kevin Owens. Yeah, good solid match. It's actually what you expected. Um, and But in the end, KO got his revenge, basically. Uh, did a great power, pump up power bomb. So yeah, yeah good, good, good match. Go and watch it. Then we had the Judgment Day versus AJ Styles and Finn Balor and Liv Morgan. Um, Judgment Day have not lost at all, really, doing anything. Edge has not lost recently. And yes, they didn't lose here. But it was a good match. Go and watch it, for sure. Then we had Happy Corbin versus um, Madcap Moss in a no hard bar, bar match, which was really good. Obviously, weapons were in effect, chairs, the whole thing. Good mat, good moves as well from both. But in the end, Madcap Moss obviously would win because he is now the new good guy. So, yeah. Then we had Fury versus um, Mustafa Ali. Really good match. Um, they both can go... Um, I I really think Fury's Fury's definitely going places. They're pumping a lot into Fury. He's he's brilliant on the mic. Um, he's get he's getting there. He's getting like he's he's really good. He's good good in the ring as well. He's got everything going for him really. The theme song is a bit I don't know. A town down is I don't know. It does my head a little bit, but but other than that, it's pretty good. In the end, obviously Fury won. And in the main event, we had Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins, which is their third match back to back to back, and it was a hell of a match. Cody started the match with this massive bruise on his on his chest. It looked disgusting. I don't know how he did that, but it didn't look good. He must have ruptured something. But anyway, it was a it was a set, hell of, hell of a match. Loads of um, loads of um, near falls as well. High spots, the whole lot. I can't stay here and go through it all because I would be here basically all day. But um, we don't know what's happened to Rose. I don't know if it was a tear or something. Um, on on his chest was it looked gruesome anyway. Um, I would say Riley, uh, Seth came down in polka dot outfit just like his dad Dusty Rhodes. Um, uh, uh, 
Yeah, he did look at um, Cody. Also had um, he, he would look like he was in a, a lot of pain. There's some spots he didn't look like he could do, and he did look like it looked like he could barely lift his arm as well. So I'm not sure. But in the end, Cody Rhodes won. So that's three times now he's beaten Seth Rollins. The problem is now because this is the problem that WWE are gonna have. They need to get the Tribal Chief in there. They need to do something with the title because. There's guys who are now hitting that ceiling on Raw where there's nowhere to go. There's no, what do you do next? There's no, there's no top tier talent to face on Raw at a certain spot that you've beaten everyone. You've beaten the top guy. Cody's beaten the top guy, Seth. What's, oh, what's above Seth? It's the title. Bobby Lashley is now beating Omos. <clears throat> not saying it, not, not saying it isn't top tier uh, talent over Omos but it's what do you do now with Bobby Lashley he's done that anything <coughs> anything else that's not Roman Reigns or maybe Seth or maybe Cody or maybe Riddle or Randy if he comes back is going to be sort of diminishing Bobby as well so that they really need you need a title on the show you need you do need a big title on the show whether they make Roman give up the title for, look, relinquish the WWE titles just so they can have it back on Raw they need something because it, it, I will say also just a perspective of championship and prestige. There's no time. There's no title on the line at the pay per view. And I think I think you do lose a lot of um, you do lose a lot uh, because of that. But it was good. Go and watch it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.